Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for being here. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, join the fam, share with your friends. There's a lot of good content coming your way. So make sure that you are subscribed and that you always come back for some videos. But enough babbling. Today we are going to do a hair transformation and I'm going to show you guys how I style my hair in literally under an hour from fresh out of the shower, curly, wet hair to this blowout, literally only using one item. So if you want to see the entire process, what I use, how we get to this hair, then just keep on watching. So for starters, I'm just going to show you guys what my hair looks like fresh out of the shower. So this is it. I have very, very curly hair. I had it in my microfiber towel, so I'm just going to wet it just a little bit in those parts that got really, really dry, um, just because I feel like it helps a lot better when it comes to doing my actual hair. So I'm just going to show you guys the products that I'll be using, and then we'll get started on the whole process. Typically what I do is I use my Amica blower brush to just blow out the entire hair. I section everything and go little by little but before i do that i usually like to go in with some sort of oil just so that my hair doesn't look super dry and also just to be able to have some moisture so i've been using this for so long and like literally the packaging is like coming apart but i believe the brand is cj walker beauty culture and it's a coconut oil and it smells phenomenal i love it so much it smells so good so i usually just take a little bit of this dab it into my hands and also just like spread it out and what i've been trying to incorporate a little more and sometimes i forget and i don't know why but it's just a heat protective primer so this one is going to be the bumble and bumble hairdressers invisible oil so that's what i'll be using too so you'll just see me spraying a little bit into my hands putting it into my hair and just being able to do that while we section I have my clips ready, let's just dive in. Okay, so like I mentioned, I'm gonna just section some of my hair so that we can get started. So I usually start from the bottom. I'm sure everybody does as well too, but just in case you wanna know what that looks like. And then I'll just section it on here. And as you can see, it's a little on the drier side, but it's just a little damp, which is not so bad. We don't want it to be dripping because then that means we're going to have to go in with the blower for longer, hence more heat on the hair. So a little bit, you know, a little bit damp, a little bit on the drier side can help. But for me, I can't have my hair be completely dry or else I am going to be blow drying for what feels like centuries because my hair just gets frizzy so fast. So I'm just going to take some of that primer that I mentioned to you guys earlier and it kind of just like splacks like into one of those. Um, so I'm just going to take some of that and kind of just run that through my hair and I'll show you guys just with this section and then we'll kind of just fast forward and you guys can see me do my whole entire hair in like fast motion because we'll be here forever and also the blower is loud but i find it to be such a relaxing thing to do and i've been able to do this in under an hour which is amazing before i used to have to like go into the secadora which is the hair dryer with the rollers and that was like an hour then you had to wait to get a blowout then you had to like flat iron so it was just a long process and i haven't been in a salon in i think literally over 10 years so i do my own hair and I've really just been able to work out what works for me and what doesn't. And this has been how I've been doing my hair and I love it every single time. So now we're just gonna take the blower. I'm gonna blow this out and then we'll move on to the next section. And actually, just before I start, I wanna show you guys the brush. This is the Amica brush. Like I mentioned, it has two functions. So it has like the lower end and the higher end. I always put the higher end and it also has the fan and the off button. So. I usually always just use this one, the top one, um, and I love it, and excuse the nails, this one is coming off, but stay tuned, because there's gonna be a video on how I go from this to these, so I'll show you guys how I do that. Um, we're very do-it-yourself here, so I'm all about sharing how I do things on my own, so that that way, if you're looking to do something as well at home, give yourself a little glam day, get ready, well then, this is the channel for you, so be sure to subscribe. I also 
did just want to time this to show you guys that I can literally get this done in under an hour. So right now, I just sectioned off and I just started on that first one, but it is 311 and yes that is the Grinch my favorite character especially for the holidays so it is 311 let's time ourselves and let's see if we can get this done before 410 So this is that first section blown out. We're loving how it looks. It's also raining outside today, which always, no matter how well I do my hair, makes my hair frizzy, but we're still doing the hair. So this is what we look like. I'm going to do the rest of the hair. We'll come back when we're doing that front section just because we don't want to sit here and watch me blow my hair all this time. So see you in a bit. We're more than halfway done with the hair. So this is what we are looking like. Very nice. I love the volume, looking super cute. This is more of the drier side for me, so I typically always just go with the flat iron towards the end, but we're just gonna do this section together so I can show you guys what I've been doing as I showed you earlier. So we part the hair, that's what I'm doing. Parting the hair and then clipping it back up. And then even from that, I take smaller sections because I learned that the smaller you go, the better it is. It takes a little longer because you have to do a lot more sections but your hair dries a lot better and a lot faster than if there's just a ton of hair all together. So once again, just taking that primer, running it through my hair, taking a little bit of this oil, just a little bit. We don't want our hair to be too, too, too oily. Just running it through. And then we'll go right back to doing what we were doing, taking the blower. So I'm just going to take that brush and really round it out and slowly go down so that way my hair gets sufficient air time. And I like to round out the bottom just so that the ends look like they got a nice fresh blowout. I love that look. And sometimes you can even do it like this, stand the brush up like that and just start to create like a pattern. And that'll help to create something like that. I like to do that more towards the end, just after I make sure that I get the root. up looking like and I love it so much gonna repeat that same thing on the other side and we are almost done we're in the final part of the hair so I just wanted to show it to you guys and one thing that I did want to mention that I have been doing is before I start blowing it I just use the brush to actually brush out the hair just to make sure that it's not tangled before I used to just go straight in and then it's tangled it's blowing it's just a hot mess so I'm just doing that and I'm just gonna slowly start like blowing it out to make sure we get the hair dry and nice and smooth just like this other side and lastly also just taking your time i think that's the most important thing with these dryer uh, brushes and even just the blower in general really taking your time and slowly going down i feel like it's so easy to just want to go super fast but that's just going to cause more frizz at least it's what I've seen, so I really just slow it down and try and take my time, especially focusing on the bottom. So once again, just starting from the top, really rounding it out, and then slowly going down. And just repeating this same motion until I am satisfied with how it looks. So we are all done with the blowing portion and it is 4.03. So you literally can blow your hair out in under an hour. If you want, you can keep it like this. Let me just show you guys the whole entire thing. You can keep it like this. Honestly, I'm debating. I'm like, do I want to keep it like this or do I want to just go over the roots? Sometimes I like to just go with the flat iron, but then it kind of takes away from the volume and I'm kind of like feeling it. 
but this is the entire hair process of how I go from a curly hair to straight hair in literally under an hour and I love it I cut some like little layers myself and it didn't go as planned but I'm not mad about it I like it it adds volume which is really just something that I like to be able to have I feel like it just takes bland hair into like just making it look so much better so yeah this is what we're looking like I'm gonna go switch my top and we'll be right back mm -hmm. 